Do you want a weapon that strikes fear into every opponent as if you were a barbarian? Well, you can have that feeling on fighter class. You just need to use halberd. Sometimes you don't even need to use it and they just topple over. So yes, halberd is becoming one of my favorite things in Dark and Darker. It takes a little bit of precision, a little bit of timing and spacing to get those hits to not sour spot. As we all know, the common complaint with this weapon is that 50% sour spot on the hilt or shaft of the weapon. Unfortunately, beating people with your shaft is not that effective. But this weapon has a massive one. So you have to be very, very careful if you're going to use it. And I think that makes it extremely exciting and also rewarding when things do work out in your favor. That may have been a sour spot, but even still, a blue halberd hits for 120 damage. You're still doing 60 damage with the club of this weapon in close, which isn't horrible. And if you do the follow-up swing, which is the nice thrust stab, it's very, very rarely you're going to sour spot that spear thrusted movement. So you can make the most of that overhead and then follow up with a nice full damage stab. Just fair warning, once you start using this weapon and landing headshots with it, it becomes a serious addiction. Seeing those damage numbers at the levels I've just never really seen before in fighter class since they, they did improve the weapon damage on this weapon. You can get like 60 plus weapon damage on a blue, especially with additional weapon damage rolls for very, very cheap. I'm almost regretting saying that because I've been loving buying purple halberds for like 100, 150 gold. And yeah, I use longbow. I do like to soften them up a bit with longbow, leading to that really, really nice conclusion. Almost every other fighter player or just any range class in the game is using survival bow and solos. I get it. I just love me some longbow as well. And I think trios, longbow really pops off, which is why I just love using it. It feels rewarding when I do go into trios and it just starts hitting, which I'll show you guys later. But I do want to warn you, there are times with this weapon where you certain, perfect headshot, slight miss, and then kind of just phase through them. That will sometimes happen if they're inside your hitbox. I was fighting Firebox, uh, he was on Rogue, and I had one of my hits go right through him with the sweeping attack. Just almost identical to that example. And if they're inside your hitbox before it starts, sometimes you just don't land a hit. And that can be so crucial. Like I said, 60 damage, even 50% damage is enough to really hurt a rogue. And if you just can't get that damage off because they're hugging your face, it's tough. And this is a blue halberd. First hit 125, second hit 135, and I believe the last one's in upper 140s. I'm not really stacking a lot of damage here. This is just like a mediocre blue dex fighter build. And what do we find? An absolutely giga geared druid. Now, this guy was being, you know, he was being his confident druid self, suggesting that I should just leave him alone. But my method to my madness is if I'm going to go into goblin caves with like mediocre gear on, I'm going to fight everyone. It's the only way I'm going to get better at the game. It's the only way I'm going to improve with Halberd. It's the only way I'm going to get to see if like maybe my potential builds with like lighter gear could actually work. I don't want to just go in there and stat check every single player, play only the matchups that favor me, and then just win everything that I of my choosing. And I think there are a lot of classes in this game that can kind of just pick and choose their engagements, and it leads to a lot more success, sure. But if I'm on fighter class, and I'm in the goblin caves, I'm going to the center room, and I'm fighting. Like, we're, we're doing everything we can to fight stuff. That's just the way I like to play, it's the way I get better at the game. And like maybe arena will provide me with like some some sort of content like this as well but oftentimes i end up getting matchups that just are not really that good or at least not really in my favor and this could be one of them this did just recently get nerfed as of today so luckily agility stacking panther may not be as effective but we'll have to see because it was an absolute menace before but just, I'm just like picturing the 130 damage halberd. Right here, yes. 
Oh, if we had a landed that second swing. If we had a landed that second swing, I'm pretty sure this guy dies. We just dragged it too far to the left. And he does his druid stuff and he's out of there. So he was literally talking shit the whole time about how, like, I'm just gonna die, I shouldn't fight him. Yeah, wh why are you fighting me? Yada, yada, yada. And we smacked him around. He was not expecting that. The unfortunate part is, we're gonna have to do it again, and then probably again, and then again, on druid class. He can make a horrible mistake like he just made, and we didn't punish him fully for it, and now he's fine. I make any mistakes on my halberd fighter, maybe have my longbow out a little too long, or do anything with sprint at the wrong moment, and it's just game over. Dreamwalk. He's away again. Instant switch to route form. Now I'm in a bit of a weird spot where he could just panther form me with a bow out. Unfortunate. But this guy, this guy's getting hurt repeatedly. And we're almost getting a, an amazing kid on our hands, but the game just doesn't want us to have it. Dreamwalk, instant class switching. You just can never get the W when you want it. And now we have to do this duel one more time and he is way more aware, which is not good. I don't have second wind and it's just like basically two tap and I'm dead. So essentially, we did kind of just get gear checked, but I would say I could have maybe played a little better in certain situations to like, at least that last attempt to keep him off me. However, it just, it does give me a little bit of joy knowing that I can take a blue halberd in. If I get good enough with it and space properly, I can take all these guys out. I just need a little bit of patience, a little bit of grit and determination, and we could probably pull off a lot of big Ws with Halberd. I've been loving it, and, and if I die and lose it, it's not like I'm investing endless amounts of gold into insane gear. It's just fun to go in there and try stuff that's a little different, try stuff that takes, you know, a bit of spacing, a bit of, a bit of movement, you know? It's really, really fun. So this was kind of like the build I was running. I was using... A little bit lighter build when I fought this guy, but I have found that Brave Hunter Pants just like solve so many problems. So if you're looking at this and looking at my gear, they're all purples. Uh, but yeah, Brave Hunter Pants. This one I did stack a bit more damage on, which I was trying. But I would honestly prefer going maybe even a little lighter now. And actually, I want to do a Lycan build with like 180 HP. Like all like vigor stacking. 180 HP Lycan with Halberd. And just see if we can get our dexterity into a, a spot where Longbow actually feels nice. And if you're wondering what happened to that last kit, well, you can watch it live on Twitch. But essentially, I got ambushed rubbed. And that was that was game over. Nothing nothing I could really do there. This situation, this is a blue Felling Axe Barbarian. And I'm absolutely terrified of this because, like I said, that Sour Spot does exist. And if he gets inside there with Felling Axe, it is not going to be a good damage trade. So... Unfortunately, my longbow just wasn't hitting, and I needed to get I needed to get a little bit more spicy with some of this melee gameplay. Luckily, we can space him. He makes makes a bit of a strange decision just to get the heck out of there. And this would have been a, a perfect opportunity if we could have landed a couple a couple longbow shots here. I imagine this guy just like screws right off. It like, doesn't even try to push us. Maybe he goes tries to break a door and run away because then he's in like one tap range for Halberd. Luckily, we do land one. It keeps him interested. And then we can do work with our, our really nice kind of spacing in that. Like I said, that second swing right there, that second swing, that follow-up, doesn't sour spot nearly as easily. So if you're going to have someone on top of you, don't do the sweeping attack. Do not do it. Do the overhead into the follow-up stab because you'll get way more damage off even if you only hit chest. If you're sour spotting into their hands and chest with the sweeping attack, it's like game over. Lastly... But I did want to show you guys just some trios. I did do a little bit of halberd gaming with Ryan and Soapy on trios. And like I mentioned earlier, if you build some decks, Longbow just feels so freaking nice. I already killed one guy with Longbow in this raid. And then we're getting pushed by another team. And the Longbow, it's just like chef's kiss, you know? Like everything about the Longbow and trios, like Soapy's rocking one as well. We can just decimate teams. And then when it's finally time to mix it up, we get in there with the halberd. It just feels so satisfying. Like we hit like three or four longbow shots there, completely changes that fight. Last example, which I think is like trios at its best, you know, 
howling crypts, small corridors, tons of magic, tons of arrows, just like amazing stuff happening here. No clerics, just fun gameplay. And this was like a moment for me I've never experienced because I've never frontlined with Halberd before. Never have I ever really done this. And in this moment, it just felt so cool. Like, so, so cool. Like, so much is happening. So much is happening. These guys got full copper on. We're all using, like, you know, probably, like, one or two K kits. Maybe a little better. But these fights were just so, so fun. Trying to get a little bit healed up here get myself back in there. Honestly, once I did those first couple swings, I'm kind of I was kind of addicted to being on the front line with this halberd. It just it was just so rewarding. I wish I could have landed that shot. Try not to get reposted. We decide to do some hip attacks. We land a lot of them. Just still we cannot bring these guys down. We cannot At at the end of it all, we do end up getting a kill on this team. Not a full wipe. I think the copper guy gets away, but this was a pretty cool push. Like, trying to get through this choke point, a whole bunch of stuff happening, like hellfires and magic. It was chaotic. And really looking back, like, if I had landed a few more swings, we'd probably take those guys out. But having them at max range with halberds sweeping through their, their chests, like, you can tell they're getting a little bit panicked. They're trying to deal damage in return. I'm building a bit more PDR on this kit just to keep myself alive for trios. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So, look... I'll see you guys next stream. I'll see you guys on YouTube. Bye-bye. And enjoy your weekend.